All right, I'm going to provide you with a quick tour of Gyroscope. This is the settings page where you choose all the different services that you want to connect to your account. Um, right below that, you see the actual data that's going to be imported uh, from that account. Here you also see uh, settings for public and private. Um, if you set it to public, anybody with uh, the URL will be able to see all your data. If you choose friends, then only friends that you have within the service will be able to see your data and uh, it's private to everybody else. Um, now I'm going to go really quick here to the dashboard. The dashboard uh, will take you to your profile and within the profile here you have three different sections broken down. Uh, we'll start with the sports section and here you can see uh, some summary of the data that's in here and some of the latest information. Um, as I click in uh, we can now see um, weight, which actually is, this data is coming from Fitbit, if you have an ARIA scale, or I believe Withings if you import, and it'll show your current weight, the last time um, it was captured, uh, whether you've uh, gone up or down since the last measurement, and a graph showing the progression over time um, for your different weight. Uh, also, uh, you'll see the last uh, gym check-in here, only uh, gym and workout areas are display in this area, and then you also see the last run um, that you did if you were importing data from RunKeeper. Here we also see the different ch gym check-ins for the month of March. You also see the duration. Now the duration I'm pretty sure is being calculated by how long uh, I'm at the gym, which is data coming from the Moves app, which is interesting. Um, as, you, as I scroll down here, you can also see here all the different RunKeeper uh, workouts being tracked. And if you mouse over, you can get some information about that workout. And actually, if you click on it, It'll actually redraw the actual path of your workout uh, on a map, which is really cool. Uh, then we'll click back here, and then <clears throat> in this calendar view, you can also mouse over to get the actual steps for that given day. And the color coding um, shows whether you reached your goal or did not reach your goal, uh, which is also a good, real quick, uh, high-level view of that. So now we're going to scroll, go back uh, to the main dashboard and we're going to go to the Explorer uh, section. I'm going to click on that. And this gives you a, a summary information about all your location data. And it's broken down by month. Um, what's interesting too is it'll uh, also summarize that data by location type. So here you'll see gym fitness, three time, three check-ins so far for March. Um, and then you'll see a, a mall check-in, and so some other category breakdowns with how many times you've checked in. So it's probably showing you the top uh, categories for the locations you're going into. It'll also show you some summary view of uh, the images taken. Now if I click into an individual month, it'll show those top photos uh, being shared from either Twitter or Instagram. It'll also show the, the step count. Um, there's an extra feature to see that here. And then this is really neat. You can actually uh, mouse over and see these different little uh, check-ins or locations that you've been on a map, which is kind of neat. Um, and if I scroll down, you can actually see each of the daily breakdowns. And one of the really cool things is if I, I'll go here to an interesting day where if I mouse over, you'll see all the locations uh, on the mouse over. But if I click in even further now, you'll see the chronological breakdown. Um, of the locations for that given day. So that's really a cool feature. <clears throat> and, you know, I just recommend just mousing over and clicking things everywhere. This is a thing I just discovered where you can actually see locations up here and then click through to them and it'll take you to the actual day, which is a really cool feature. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right, so now we'll go over to um, go back here. Um, the digital I'm not going to show. It's really just show some high-level stuff. Uh, that's not 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 really too interesting at the moment. Just kind of showing your Twitter and Instagram account and and some data there. What I want to do now is I'm going to flip over here to the uh, reports. So every week it's going to give you uh, a weekly report, and if you click on that weekly report, you'll see some summarized info here as well. So there's a different view here now for steps, <clears throat> where you see a different kind of chart here. And it also gives you some analysis here. So it's saying low that I need uh, more walking. Um, that's partly due because I don't have all my data uh, being imported right now. My Garmin VivoFit step data isn't coming in. But anyways, it just it, it's a cool different visual way of just getting a high-level breakdown for the week. Um, also here shows rescue time data, which is kind of interesting, um, and top photos and other location info. Anyways, just wanted to give you guys a high-level view of the Gyroscope app, and I recommend you check it out.